Today, we're diving into a topic that unites us all, yet we rarely discuss it openly. You do it. I do it. We all do it. It's something far more universal, something we all share but often dance around in hushed tones. You see, it doesn't matter if you're a world-famous celebrity or just a neighbor next door. Whether you live in a bustling city or a serene countryside, some do it when the morning sun peeks through their curtains. Some do it during the hustle and bustle of the daily grind. I personally do it in moments of quiet. It's a natural act, yet one that often shrouds itself in secrecy. We've created euphemisms, whispered conversations, and awkward silences around something so inherently human. But today, we're breaking free from the shackles of embarrassment and shining a light on the enigmatic act. So buckle up, because you do it. I do it. We all do it. And it's time we talk about it openly and honestly, and with a sprinkle of curiosity. Let's embark on this journey into the realm of pooping. Are you ready? Ever found yourself in a tricky situation where nature calls, but you're holding back? So let's unravel the mystery behind what really happens when you hold in your poop. Brace yourself for some eye-opening facts about your bathroom habits. Every now and then, we find ourselves holding in our poop, maybe waiting for a more convenient time or place. You ever wondered what's actually happening when you do this? Ever heard of the puberectalis muscle? The puberectalis muscle is like the superhero against your poop. This muscle plays a crucial role when you decide to hold in the call of nature. It's like a little dance inside your body. The puborectalis muscle is doing its moves, pushing your poop away, leading it back into the mysterious land of the colon. Really intriguing, isn't it? And have you ever wondered why your poop gets harder when you delay the inevitable? What happens is, your stool loses moisture, turning what should be an easy journey into a bit of a tough trek, or turning from a smooth slide to a rocky road. So don't make a habit of holding it in. Holding in your poop regularly can lead to some significant health issues, from painful hemorrhoids to an increased risk of colon cancer. The risks are real and shouldn't be ignored. It's like a ticking time bomb in your gut, ready to wreak havoc. Now let's talk constipation. In case you're wondering, it's more common than you think. Did you know? Elvis Presley's heart attack was linked to severe constipation. Even the King of Rock couldn't escape the poop predicament. It's the straining, dry stools, and that feeling of never quite emptying. That's the constipation anthem and your body's way of saying, hey, we need to talk about this. How about we ponder this? What's the ticking clock until a potential poop problem? A study went as far as 75 days. But trust me, this is not a recommendation. Just imagine your poop patiently waiting backstage for its grand exit. Now, let's talk kids and their not-so-secret world of poop. From potty training to holding it in, it's a unique journey for our little ones. Picture a scenario where decoding a child's poop becomes a puzzle only pediatricians can unravel. In the wise words of Elvis, truth is like the sun. You can shut it out for a time, but it ain't going away. That's the truth about poop, folks. So there you have it, fellow knowledge hunters. Holding in your poop might seem like a harmless act of convenience, but the risks are real. Embarking from constipation challenges to potential health twists, it's the moment to lend an ear to your gut, quite literally. Never let the call of nature linger unanswered. Stay tuned for more curious revelations, and always remember the impact of a well-timed bathroom break. After all, we all do it, right? Thanks for watching.